All right, y'all, for this first set of word problems, um, I did write the problem up here, but it's probably not as easy to read. I'll put my computer up a little bit higher. Uh, you are making a rectangle with a height of five inches and an area of up to 65 square inches or inches squared. Write an inequality for the possible length B. See, I know we haven't really done very many word problems or turning word problems into um, inequalities. So I'm actually going to give you guys the steps for this one. Um, this actually does require um, some knowledge of some stuff we haven't quite covered yet in class, um, but it's really not difficult because you guys probably have already learned the area of a rectangle um, fifth grade, maybe fourth grade. It says you are making a rectangle with a height of five inches and an area of up to 65 inches squared. Um, the first thing we need to know, though, is to find the area of a rectangle, you actually take the base times the height. B times H is base times height. Some people also call it length times width, but you're multiplying the two sides. An area of up to 65 inches, up to 65 inches means it's not greater than 65. It could be equal to 65 or it could be less than. That's when we use our less than or equal to sign. All of the ones that are on, under this problem, you will use that same sign, y'all, because you're not going to go more than the total area. It has to be either equal to it or less than it. That's what the question says. So I'm going to put the 65 over here because it should be equal to or less than or equal to 65. One of my variables I already know. It says I have a height of 5 inches. So we've talked about plugging in variables. That's actually what we're going to do here. B, we don't know what it is. So I'm going to write the B still. Times 5 is less than or equal to 65. This, this, equal, sorry, this inequality would actually help you find out what your possible values could be. But to solve it, we have to do the opposite operation of times 5, which is to divide by 5 on both sides. On this side, they cancel. I get just my B, same sign. 65 divided by 5 is actually 13. So the possible answers for B, it has to be less than or equal to 13, which means it could be 13 or 12 or 11 or 10 or 9, 8, 7, 1. It cannot be 14 or 15 or anything that is larger than 13. Y'all, if you didn't understand it the first time, please watch this video again. Really, you're going to set up your equation the exact same way that I did. Find the height in your question. That's what you're going to substitute for H. And then you divide by that number on both sides to find the value for B. Please make sure you guys watch the next video. Like I said, there's one last video that's going to be for the last set of problems.